Why do you seem so scared? Hey everyone, it's Christine and welcome back to Paranormal TV. So before I actually started to film, I got completely distracted by my dog. I'm a crazy dog mom, but seriously, look at this face. You wouldn't get distracted looking at that. Today we are going to actually do a video that is inspired by Amy McLean. She does these types of videos all the time. She did one recently where she took a horror movie quiz that BuzzFeed put out. And I thought her video was fun. I thought it'd be fun to do as well. I, I will link Amy McLean's video down below as well as the BuzzFeed quiz. This horror movie test will supposedly reveal your deepest fear. Now, I have two really big fears. My fear for myself, like when I'm in a situation I fear heights, but my biggest fear of all time would probably be losing a loved one. I only know what Amy McLean got. I don't know the other answers. So I have no idea what kind of fears are on here. So this should be interesting. Who or what are you watching with? My significant other, my friends, my family. It's just me and my pet. I'll be clutching a big glass of wine. I'm burying myself under pillows and blankets. Uh, my significant other and my husband and I both really love horror movies, so I'm probably watching it with him. What horror comedy are you starting the night with? Scary movie. I don't really feel like scary movie is necessarily a horror movie. I guess kind of, but at the same time not. It's just made fun of horror movies, which I guess makes it a horror comedy. I don't know. American Psycho, Shaun of the Dead. I've actually never seen Shaun of the Dead, so I can't speak on that. Little Shop of Horrors, Cabin in the Woods. To me, Cabin in the Woods is a horror. It's not a horror comedy, but I guess everyone's different. Or Ghostbusters. To me, Ghostbusters is not a horror movie at all, but Ghostbusters is my favorite movie of the choices that they give you. I love Ghostbusters, so I'm going to pick Ghostbusters just because I really love Ghostbusters. And I've never seen the, um, the the remake. I don't really want to see the remake. Now pick a horror movie based on a true story. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's like, I don't know, Egin inspired the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but he's not, it's not really based on him too much. It's very, very, very loosely based. The Silence of the Lambs, Zodiac, which to me wasn't necessarily a horror, as much as a suspense, The Amityville Horror, The Haunting in Connecticut, or The Strangers. Ugh, this one's hard. I liked Zodiac. It was a little bit long-winded. I can't watch The Silence of the Lambs because I hate cannibals. Ugh. Um, I don't know, maybe Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I'm going to say, because to me, Zodiac is not a horror. What are you snacking on? Popcorn, pizza, ice cream, Chex Mix, M&M's, no snacks, just blood red wine. Um, it's between ice cream and pizza. I don't know which one I would choose. My husband's always ordering and making pizza, so that could be the answer. But I like ice cream a lot. I'm going to go with pizza, though. Now pick a slasher film. This is going to be the hardest one. Scream, Halloween, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Prom Night, and I Know What You Did Last Summer. I Know What You Did Last Summer is kind of a guilty pleasure. Let me know if you guys want a video about my guilty pleasure horror movies. I Know What You Did Last Summer is one of them. Prom Night, I don't like. It's the remake of the Prom Night. It's not even the original Prom Night. Um, Scream is amazing. Friday the 13th is amazing. A Nightmare on Elm Street is amazing. Halloween is amazing. Halloween is my favorite on this list though, so I'm going with Halloween. Finally, what zombie movie are you ending the night with? Zombie movies are not my favorites. Um, zombies just kind of bore me. I feel like it's the same thing generally. Like, there's not a whole lot of creativity in zombie movies. I have never seen World War Z. I'm not a huge Brad Pitt fan though, so I'm just gonna put that off the list. I've never seen Warm Bodies, and I I thought Warm Bodies looked terrible. It just looked like a movie that was not for me. Natasha loved Warm Bodies, but for me, Warm Bodies was not something I wanted to be watching. Um, I've never seen Zombieland. 
So I'm it's for me it's either Night of the Living Dead or Dawn of the Dead. I'm gonna go Night of the Living Dead though. I got losing someone you love, which is definitely true. I can't stand when somebody you love passes away. Can anyone really stand that? But it says you care deeply for the people in your life and in many ways your life is dedicated to them. You pour out your love generously, so the thought of losing someone close to you absolutely terrifies you, definitely. It is so hard to go on living without that one person that you loved in your life, you know, like when I lost my grandfather, and still like I have a hard time going on with my life without my grandfather and my grandmother. So this is definitely correct. I said in the beginning this was one of my biggest fears is I hate losing loved ones. Um, it's just really hard for me. So yeah, that was right. Good job, BuzzFeed. Alright, let me know what you guys got down below if you took this quiz. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.